gatekeeping bin men? This is what you call real bin men. Nothing like that now, though. XCX. Why? What? what? <laughs> okay, sure. Yes, they've got their nice coats on. They're smoking. They look like good old hardy men. Ooh, but they're carrying heavy bins like that, which is going to be terrible for their back. It's probably going to hurt their arms. And they're probably going to be just in terrible, terrible pain later on in life. Hmm. God forbid having good working conditions, Carol. God, you bring me back and you put me straight in r slash gatekeeping. This is just gonna... Oh, maybe I should just take it... Just go away again. Hello and welcome to Calvus. My name is Zen and today we're taking a look at r slash gatekeeping. Subreddit dedicated to people that just feel the need to just try and be like, you can't do this thing unless it's like that. Why? I don't know. Because they have these ideas in their head that make some things you just you just have to meet these specific requirements that are arbitrary to them. To put it in a short way, they're idiots. Let's just jump straight in. Hate keeping hot dogs. You can add three toppings to this hot dog. What are you adding? That's wow, that got a lot of traction. Holy crap. Hot dogs are budget children's food for outdoor parties. They serve no legitimate other function. Oh my god. Putting down hot dogs. Ah yes, they are for those peasant children. Outside of that, they hold no function. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell, dude? That's that's such a shit take. <laughs> I, I I I wouldn't even know how to talk to this person because his head is so far up his own ass, it would be coming out of his own mouth again, and at this point. It's just a Mobius strip of assholery. How would you even respond to this? So self- No legitimate other function. <laughs> Apparently, men shouldn't drink milk. Men shouldn't be allowed to drink milk. Ah yes, thank you, random lady. Please tell me why. You, you, okay, you can't just make a statement like this without giving any context or reasoning. I, hang on, hang on. Let me just do one for you as well. Women shouldn't be allowed to have eyebrows because they're a sign of weakness. Is any of that true? No! Absolutely not. But I just did what you did, miss. I gave a bullshit statement that has no context or reasoning. Do you see how this works? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I can't wait for people to take that out of context. Oh my god. <laughs> Gonna be cancelled in like three years. Actually, I give it two tops. Do the drug. How to drink decaffeinated coffee. Number one, pour it down the drain. Two, make real coffee. Three, drink that instead. Ah, yes. Let me dictate my own preference onto you, which you now must take to heart. You like decaffeinated coffee? You like the taste of coffee without the caffeine that keep you up? Oh, how dare. How dare. I'm gonna- I'm gonna let you in on a little secret here, folks. I do not like coffee. I like coffee-flavored things, but I cannot stand the drink itself. Does it matter? No! It's the- it's just my own personal preference. Do what you like! Drink what you like! My god, this is so- this is so self-righteous. Someone took a post from r slash gatekeeping and used it to gatekeep. If you can't read this, you don't deserve 15 an hour- oh. Oh, get out. Get out. I'm gonna level with you. This is the second take I'm doing of this one, because I thought this was a bash on minimum wage and living wage. Nope. <laughs> it's on mechanics life. Uh, and this is a micrometer. And I made a whole thing about, ooh, look at this metal thing that I can't read the metal, the little words and numbers on. What is this metal contraption? I'm just a dumbass. I... <sighs> Mechanic, if you can't read this, you don't deserve 15 an hour. Nope, if you can't comprehend it, you should just get into Reddit reading, apparently. <laughs> Check a mate mechanic's life. Gatekeeping cars. Real cars don't power the front wheels. They lift them. Y yeah, I cool. I'll see you in a and &E, I guess. <laughs> I do like having cars that just lift the steering part off the ground. <laughs> Because that seems, you know, who needs to steer? As long as you have enough power, you can just run through anything. Yes, cars. This is the way forward. Literally, it's the only way forward. Because that's where you're going without being able to steer. Gatekeeping LED lights. LED lights are not for men. I don't care, I don't care. 
Yes, they are. Gay men, yeah. They're just lights that are different colors. How's that gay? To me, it's just a feminine thing. Hey guys, I'm putting lights in my room. So excited to make my room glow. Have you heard of light bulbs? Hello? Uh, is, is your TV not to your liking? Do you have an LED TV? Hmm. How do you watch your sports balls, Mr. Sportsman Avatar? <laughs> Do you own- are you CRT only? Are you back in the old days of TVs? Oh my god, why? <laughs> what, what? This is such a bad take, sir. Why? I've got two things I want to say about this. One, when I get my own apartment, when I get my own flat or my own house, I am going to be turning it into an LED RGB- Oh, it's going to be a thing. <laughs> Audio reactive. Uh, there's like a video online that I've shown Lumo. And it's just an RGB apartment, and it's amazing. And I just kind of want to replicate some of it, because it's so cool. Uh, I'm an RGB fiend, um, to a degree. <laughs> Second thing, I really can't stand people that try and say, like, what they think is a hot take, and then immediately go, like, I don't care, I don't care. Obviously you do, because you're making a statement about it, and you're looking for attention by putting it out there. So clearly, you do care. Gatekeeping dinner. Also, stop calling a normal dinner with your friends a dinner. You guys are just eating food. Everything does not need to be biz related. <laughs> what? What? No, no, hold on. No, what? what is this even trying to be? You guys are just eating. Yes, if you're eating, dinner is not a thing. It's not a business thing. It's just when you eat food at a certain time of day, where it's like breakfast is food in the morning, Lunch is food at lunchtime, midday, dinner is, <laughs> it's your, is your evening meal. It's, it's the meal that makes you go, hmm, time to sleep. <laughs> food coma time, you know? What? Oh, oh, verified on Twitter, that makes sense. Okay, right, okay, never mind, back up. Just ignore everything they say. No need to pay attention here. Because mixtapes existed on one medium. If you ever got an actual physical mixtape from someone who was in love with you, you're Gen X. Maybe? Hmm? I don't know. What if you get like a physical vinyl mix? What What are you then? <laughs> Can you do that? Oh, that'd be sick. That'd be a hell of a present. Like a, a Christmas present or birthday present. Just get like a custom vinyl music mix. That'd be cool. I got completely off track on this one. I don't care. I will admit I've done that before. I've made uh, mix CDs and I've made a mix tape for someone. <laughs> Way back in high school, so yeah, um, I don't, I, I'm, I'm, oh god, I just dated myself, didn't I? Wait, no, I just looked it up, Gen X is like 1950 to 1980, not even close, no, this is wrong, <laughs> I'm a damn millennial, not a Gen X, <laughs> screw you. Why am I getting offended by this? Gatekeeper of the PCMR, it seems, if you don't have two PC monitors, you might as well be a console gamer, ah. So you're only saying two. What if I have three? What does that make me now? Your superior? Why? What? What? Why are you gatekeeping this? <laughs> it's not based on monitors. It's based on this system you use. And even then, what's the difference? Oh my god. PC Master Race must have RGB coming out the wazoo and many monitors. I know, this just gives off like the kind of Tinder vibe where it's like, I won't date anyone lower than six foot. I bet I won't play Call of Duty and, unless it's on two monitors and no less than 90 frames per second. Uh, cool. Yeah, sure, buddy. Uh, whatever. I'm just, I'm just gonna go back to playing Monster Hunter World. <laughs> you have fun, buddy. <sighs> Why am I trying to have a conversation with this person like they're actually real? I am convinced half these people are just troll accounts, just looking for a little bit of attention, and they aren't real. There's no way people like this exist. Gatekeeping a retail store. This was my hot topic. This is your hot topic. We are not the same. Same. It's just different branding. It's just, it's just different branding. Ah, uh, times change. Maybe go to a different hot topic. I don't know. What do you want me to say? It's, it's their store. You don't like it? You don't like what it's become? Set up your own store and stock it with stuff that they used to be. Become the new hot topic. Become the hotter topic. Hmm? What about make it hot topical? There you go. I just gave you two business ideas. You're welcome. Gatekeeping spirit animals. Oh, yeah! Isn't this essentially what the Patronus is? I found this response to be quite clever. 
fact about me that surprises people. My spirit animal is a bull because I too charge head first into red flags. Uh, appropriating spirit animals is kind of gross. <laughs> oh. <laughs> God, we're appropriating spirit animals now? What? Hello, no. Stop. Oh, it was, it was a good joke. It was a good, it was a good play on words. It was a good joke. I'm, I'm, I'm a bull because I had, I had charge head first into red flags. It's funny. <laughs> it's funny. Oh God, that's great. Uh, why? Why did you? <laughs> oh, that's gotta be a troll. Please, please. These people cannot exist. <laughs> I refuse. I refuse that there are people this stupid. Found this on a post where an artist uses masking tape in their paintings, which apparently means you're not as good as old artists. And artists in old days used to draw straight lines with bare hands. Hello? Ah, oh, God. All right, cool. Yeah, sure. You've got your own idea of what, how things should be. And how, like, oh, that thing was better than that. This thing was better than this. Sure, you can have that opinion. Do not put down other people's ideas and opinions because you feel yours is the only one but kind of blocking yourself in and not being able to like uh, learn and appreciate and you know challenge your own ideas and beliefs and whatnot just makes you extremely close-minded who knows you might learn something new you like might learn something better who knows all i'm saying is don't push your own beliefs on other people just discuss it you know just talk not everything is an argument or a debate trying to win something. Just learn some new things, you know? Don't don't close your mind like that, all right? Okay, good chat. I'm off the soapbox now because that's all the time we have for today on Calbus. If you liked the video, consider dropping a like or maybe even subscribing or even sharing with a friend if you want to be like, <laughs> you can't watch this video because you're not cool enough. And then you'll be like, I, I'm just joking. You're cool. You're with friends. Yeah. <laughs> If you want some more r slash gatekeeping then wait around for just a couple more seconds because another one will be popping up on your screen but on that note i have been your host zen and i hope to see you in the very next video have a great rest of your day